Good morning. Good morning, good morning. How you doing? God bless you. Good morning, welcome. Thank you for tuning in to the Concord Baptist Church. Amen, worship service. Thank you so much for joining us. Come on, y'all know how we do it. Put those hands together. Amen. We're not in the sanctuary, but we still together through the grace of God and his wonderful, wonderful ability he has given mankind for this internet and your electronic device. Thank you for joining us this morning for the Concord Baptist Church worship service. And again, I pray that you all are well and safe this morning on this wintry storm uh, that has overtaken our region. But we want you to know that God is still God. He's still on the throne. Can somebody put that out there in the comments? God is still on the throne. Amen. Good morning. Come on. Let's put those hands together one more time. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy. Come on. To be praised. I thank you. Too. Amen. I'm going to ask each of you who can and will to press the share button. That arrow at the bottom of your screen. And maybe to the left or right of your screen. But if you will press that and share this gospel message, amen, to all of those who are out there just waiting to celebrate on this icy Sunday morning. But we're going to uh, make it hot with the Holy Ghost. For the Bible said that if you are lukewarm or cold, he'll spew you out. Amen. I need somebody to turn up the spiritual heat. Can somebody put that out there? Put it, turn up the spiritual heat. We're going to have a good time this morning. And again, to all of the members of the Concord Baptist Church, we thank you for joining us this morning. And again, I want to thank you. Your safety is of the utmost importance to us. And I want to thank our entire deacons, our staff, and our trustees, and our, all of our many members and presidents who have made adjustments for this day. And we want you to know that you are truly appreciated, and we are going to celebrate the Lord today. Amen, amen, and again, we thank you, we welcome you, amen, all of you, the Concourse Church family, for joining us on this special day, amen. If you have your Bibles with you, amen, we are going to read at this time, amen, a scripture that can be found in the book of Psalms, amen, the 34th Psalm, amen, we're going to uh, uh, read this together, and if you can stand, please stand, amen, if I stand, I'll be out of the screen. So that's the only reason I'm not standing, uh, but I am standing in the spirit. Amen. I do want you to know that. Amen. Thank you so very much. Come on, let's read it together. Psalm, amen, 34 and verse 1. Amen. It says there, amen, I will bless the Lord at all times. Amen. And then it goes on to say, amen. Uh, his praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Huh? Yes, faith comes by hearing. It said, oh, magnify the Lord with me. Yes, can you magnify the Lord with me this morning? And... Let us exalt his name together. In other words, you need to say something too. You need to wave your hand, amen. You need to shout glory, amen. Move that, that coffee out the way and give God some glory. Amen, amen. It said here, I sought the Lord and he heard me. Amen, I'm so thankful for that. It said, and delivered me from all my fears. Amen, God did not give us. A spirit of fear, but a power of love in the sound mind. Amen. It said here, they looked unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. Oh, come on. I wish I could see your face right now. Amen. 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 I know that praise is written on your face. I know that, that uplifting is, is written on your face. I know that uh, good times are written on your face. Amen. It's written all over your face. Huh? It's there. Let the Lord shine through your face. And then it says, 
this poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, amen, and saved him out of all his troubles, amen. I don't know about you, but that's a good thing right there, amen. On a day like today, it's good to reflect on what the Lord has done for you, amen. I'm going to ask you, can you come in? Has God done anything for you? Huh? Has he been good to you? Amen. And then it says, Amen. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Yeah, that's what the Lord will do. Yeah, he'll take care of us. He says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. Now God will take care of you. Amen. When you respect him and love him and adore him. Again, we thank you for sharing this message. And then verse 10, loud as you can. It said, the young lions do lack and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Yes, that's what the word says. Because when we love the Lord and the Lord knows, amen, you by name. He knows you love him and you love him and he loves you. I guarantee you, he'll make a way. Bless the Lord. Can y'all say, I bless the Lord where you are? God bless you. Let's bow our heads in a word of prayer. Father, we come to you this morning in the ominous way that we know how. We come, O oh Father, respecting you with our heads bowed to the earth from which man come. In that same earth, O oh God, the Bible says that man shall return. We thank you, Father, for watching over us all week long. God, for protecting us from seen and unseen dangers. God, we thank you. We thank you, God, for allowing us to make it to this part of, of the new week. Father, knowing that oh, last night a storm, a wintry storm came in. But we thank you, God. We uh, have places to live. We have food to eat. We have clothes on our back. Oh, God, we thank you. We thank you, God, that the wind did not blow our house over. God, we thank you, God, that the winds, oh, Father, did not... Uh, blow trees on our homes, we thank you. And we pray, oh God, for those right now who uh, may be going through a, a, a rough time with this storm. We pray, oh God, for your grace. We pray for your wisdom. We pray, oh God, for your power. We pray, oh God, for help. And ask, oh God, that you would allow us, oh Father, to help each other when we can. And God, I thank you for the emergency workers. God, I know they're going to be working hard today. And I pray, O oh God, that you will keep them in perfect peace. We pray, O oh God, that you will continue, O oh God, to bless our church family. There are so many things going on. But we thank you, Father, even in a time like this, we can get together. For we believe, God, you are with us this morning, even though we're not in the sanctuary, you will bless us. We believe, O oh Father, that even though, O oh God, we may not have the choir with us this morning, but you will bless us. We believe, O oh Father, that even uh, there are no ushers at the door, no sound technicians in the balcony. God bless us this morning so we can have a good time. We, 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 we want to worship you. We're going to worship you. And your Father, your word says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. And that's what we're doing, God. On this snowy, icy morning, we're seeking you and asking you, God, uh, to be, be happy with our praise, to be happy, O oh God, with us coming together. Because, O oh Father, you said, forsake not the assembling of yourselves together. And God, we know again that, that if it was not for you, we wouldn't be here. But we thank you. We thank you. Bless the rest of this worship as you minister to us. God, we thank you. Have your way. Give us eyes to see, ears to hear, faith to believe. In Jesus' name we pray. All the people said, Amen. Huh? Did, did you say Amen. God bless you. Amen. I love the Lord. We're going to go right on into, amen, our birthdays and anniversaries today. And again, there are so many that are celebrating, and we want to celebrate with you. Amen. We are due, amen, at this time, amen, want to, amen, um, uh, acknowledge uh, those who are celebrating this week, amen. Uh, we do not have any anniversaries. Amen. But come on, let's give God a hand clap right there because there's some on the way. Can somebody put out there, there's some on the way. Amen. There's some on the way. Amen. God is good. 
Amen. There's some on the way, but celebrating. Amen. Birthday this week. Again, last week we did have uh, Reverend uh, uh, Terrence Gitts, amen, and his brother Terrell celebrate birthdays. God bless you, both of you. I pray that you have many, many more. This week we have Miss Terry Littlejohn, amen, celebrating this week. Happy birthday, Miss Terry. Amen. Also, amen. We want you to know, uh, Terry, we're celebrating with you. I mean, some of you may know or may not know, Sister uh, Terry Littlejohn was involved in an accident on I 5 yesterday. Amen. Amen. I said yesterday, her birthday this week. I said yesterday. Amen. She was in a multi car uh, vehicle accident. Amen. But how many know the Lord will uh, take care of his own? Amen. She had to go to the hospital. And Terry, I pray you're feeling better. Amen. And But she was released. And praise God. And I pray she have a wonderful birthday. Also celebrating birthdays this week. Amen. We do have, amen, uh, celebrating um, Omarion Ross. Happy birthday, my friend. May God bless you and keep you. And may you have many more. Also, amen, my friend and sister, Miss Velvet Surratt. Amen. Miss Velvet, I always call her smooth. Amen. I pray you have a wonderful birthday also. And we're praying for you. Jamie Young Jeffries. Amen. Uh, young man, happy birthday. Jamie Young, happy birthday to you. Part of our, amen, our sound team. And he's also a wonderful student and part of the Shining Stars and Junior Missionary. Happy birthday, Javion. Young. Alethea Gatewood. Happy birthday, cuz. You're getting older now. Amen. I pray you have many more. Happy birthday to you. May God bless you in a mighty good way. And also to your sister. Celebrating. Amen. Amen. Monica. Amen. Gatewood. Amen. Come on. Amen. Two sisters having birthdays right there together. Happy birthday to you. And then look cuz. Uh, also, Miss Kiriton uh, Jameson. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Would you and uh, Brother J Javion, and I pray you all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful birthday. Amen. Uh, we do have, amen, um, uh, some, a new birth that was in the church family. We do have Miss Vivian Faith, amen, that was born on this uh, week. Uh, this is the great granddaughter of uh, Miss Navern Ricks. Amen. Granddaughter of her daughter Yvette and her uh, husband and family. And also this is uh, her granddaughter Shelby's uh, second baby. And so again, congratulations to the Ricks family. We pray that you will continue uh, to grow and be blessed in the Lord. Amen. Also, amen. Celebrating a new home this week. Somebody shout a new home. Amen. God will bless you. Mr. Anthony and Nikki Elmore. Amen. Blessed with a new home. And and I'm, I'm going to let them, they, they can tell you more about it, but all I know, God is blessing. Amen. God is in the blessing business. Amen. As a matter of fact, he's blessing us right now. The Lord is blessing me right now. Oh, right now. Did y'all hear me? The Lord is blessing me and you right now. Oh, right now. He woke us up this morning and started a song our way. The Lord is blessing us right now. Oh, right now. Huh? I'm telling you, I'm excited. Are you excited? We actually pray as much for Mr. Vincent Foster, a man who's having some difficult days. Brother Vincent, uh, we're praying for you, for your family. We're praying for Mr. Sims. Uh, a man in North Carolina, the father of Sherry McSwain. God bless you. Again, to Dr. Christian Horton, we're praying for you. Amen. Again, we are asking God's favor upon you. Amen. In this, your time of uh, need, uh, to Deaconess Inez Dawkins, we're praying for you. Amen. Velvet Surratt, amen, just celebrating her birthday this week, but she uh, 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 requests our prayer. She's going through some testing right now. Velvet, we are praying for you. You keep the faith, amen. You keep your eyes on the Lord, amen. Mr. Nate Daniel, a Surratt, is recovering from uh, his knee replacement. Nick Nate, big time Nate, get better, my friend. We're praying for you. May God bless you. Also, Aunt Dart Petty, amen, had a outpatient procedure this week. I uh, pray you're getting better. Aunt Dart is on the spot, on the scene. You know what I mean. That's her. That's her. God bless you. Uncle Robert and all the family. Uh, Robert Beverly, 
Amen. And Winston, God bless you all. Also, uh, we ask your prayers added to our prayer list with Brother Tony Moto Gibbs. Amen. If you remember Brother Tony Gibbs Moto, amen. Uh, we're praying for you, brother. Keep the faith. We're praying for you. Amen. And again, we did talk about Terry, Terry Littlejohn and the accident on yesterday and also still recovering from an accident. Uh, Brother Todd Logan, we're praying for you, man. God bless you. And also this morning, received information that Sheila McGill was taken to the ER room last night and she is in, I believe, the Heart Center in Spartanburg. Sheila, we're praying for you. May God bless each of you. Amen. We do ask your prayers for uh, the Crosby family. Mr. Annie Crosby went home to be with the Lord. Amen. And her viewing will be Tuesday from 4 to 6 at the Gilmore Mortuary. And again, her services will be Wednesday at 3 p.m. at the Metropolitan AME Zion, where Pastor King, Mark King, is a very fine pastor there. And again, where she served so many years. And again, to Mr. Willie, amen, to David, to Stan, to the entire, amen, Crosby family. We want you to know we love you, and may God keep you in his hand. Miss Lillian Manning went home to be with the Lord. We uh, uh, pray for the Manning family, to Albert and Sedell, and all of the Manning family, uh, many uh, related to them in the church family. And Miss Janet Smith went home to be with the Lord. We extend our condolences to Janet. Uh, she is the sister uh, of uh, Brother Martin uh, Smith, who he passed uh, a few, about a few months ago. And again, to Reverend Dennis Smith and your family, we're praying much for all of you. And also, amen, a cousin, amen, uh, in Baltimore, Bernard Kemp, amen. With the Kemp family, Ms. Janice White, and to the entire Kemp White family, we extend our deepest condolences to you, amen, in this time of bereavement. Amen. We had a wonderful hospitality day. I want to thank you for that. And we're going to continue. Amen. Hospitality every day. Can somebody put on the screen every day? Every day. Yeah, you got to be nice every day. Amen. They might not like you, but be nice. They might not treat you right, but be nice. They might call you out of your name, but you be nice. Amen. You let the Lord shine in the midst of whatever situation you're in. Amen. And you be nice. Again, we want to thank Miss Annette Hardy Smith and the entire, amen, hospitality committee for uh, uh, what you do to make Concord great, amen. We do want you to know that winter weather advisory, amen, uh, we'll keep on the lookout for them, amen, as we prepare for our week, amen, and for the next few months, amen. Sometime it snows in April, huh? Y'all don't know about that, huh? And so we gotta be careful as we go all the way through uh, this uh, season. On the church website, amen, we do have a contact list, for contact information for uh, Concord Baptist Church members and family of Concord, those who watch with us and view with us on our worship and Bible studies. If you would sign up, amen, there's a con information list where you can put your text, your phone, your, your mobile phone number in there and emails where we can send you uh, this information, hot off the press, uh, if, if church is canceled or if there's something important, uh, information we need to get out to the membership, amen, we need you to go to the website and sign up. If you have already signed up, thank you so very much, and please make sure you have updated numbers and emails, amen, that's the only way we can stay in touch through that means, and again, we thank you so very much. Again, we thank you so much, amen. Deacon Blanton, can you all put out that Deacon Blanton? Can you put that on the screen? And then beside that, put CPR class. Amen. Yes, put it right beside the CPR class. It's going to be January the 29th from 8.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. There at the church, amen, we're going to have CPR class. Please contact Deacon Blanton, amen, if you desire, amen, to go through this training, amen, it will be there. Amen. And we're offering it to our, not only to our hate the health and safety on the direction of Deacon Jackie Leach, amen, and our, um, uh, our uh, traffic committee, our ushers, and who, who, whoever, amen, you're part of these ministries. You work with the youth, amen. Uh, you, it's important, amen, that you, we uh, go through this training, amen, this CPR certified training. You will get a certificate and everything. Be certified. Amen. And I, I think it's through the state of South Carolina. Amen. Uh, which Deacon Blanton has been a part of for many, many years. 
So again, you'll be in good hands in this training and definitely be in good hands with the Lord. Again, we thank you. You can give, amen, uh, now, amen, on the donate now option, amen, which will probably appear on your screen. You can give, amen, to the cash app option. Today, amen, we're not going to have the drop off at the church. So again, we want to encourage you, amen. Maybe you haven't experienced it yet, uh, the electronic giving, uh, but please do, amen. The work continues, even if the snow is out there, the work continues. Amen. The heat is going and different things at the church, even when we are not there. Amen. The work continues. Bills have to be paid. So we thank you so very much for everything you do to help make Concord great. Can somebody shout great? Amen. Amen. Thank you so very much. And at this time, I'm going to attempt to sing a song. Amen. And I want you to do see this. Now, I do. Uh, you, you see that keyboard right there? I, I want y'all to know this, this ain't no fake thing. Huh? Y'all saw that, didn't you? To God be the glory. We're going to sing a song, and we're going to give you a little bit of a, a message from the Lord, and we're going to go home. Amen. Y'all bear with me. Amen. I can't do it like Earl. Amen. I can't do it like Coach Franklin. Amen. I can't do it, but I, I'm going to do the best I can. Huh? <laughs> All right. Amen. This little song says, I worship thee. Little worship song. And then we'll get into our text. Amen. Bear with us. Thank you. 
God bless you. How many going to praise the Lord out there? Don't kid me now. Huh? Are you going to praise it? If you have your Bibles, if you return with me to the book of John. Amen. The book of John, chapter 4. The book of St. John, chapter 4. And again, we are coming to you in the name of Jesus. We thank you for sharing with us today to all of the great preachers of the Concord Baptist Church who are outstanding uh, uh, servants of the Lord. We greet each of you to our wonderful deacons, amen, uh, Deacon Watts and the entire staff of deacons, to our deaconesses, amen. Come on, give all of them a hand. The church has to have leaders to the very fine presidents, to all of you, to our musicians, amen, on the direction, Brother Earl Vernon, one love, we thank God for each of you and for all of you who make Concord great. If you turn with me to the book of John, chapter 4, amen, we want to look briefly, amen, at verse 20 through verse, amen, 24. John chapter 4, verse 20 to verse 24. When you found it, shout the word of God. And again, we want to thank you for joining us and ask that you, if you can and will, if you would just press share down at the bottom of your screen so we can share this gospel message to our neighbors and friends. Amen. And you too. Amen. Uh, by sharing this, you are an electronic evangelist. Amen. Cause somebody put that on the screen, electronic evangelist. Amen. Again, if you can stand, please stand. And again, if I stand, I'll be out of the screen. No disrespect to God or to you, to anyone, uh, but I will uh, uh, sit. Amen. Today. It says here, our fathers worship in this mountain. And ye say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh, in verse 23 it says, and now is, when the true worship shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Amen. In verse 24 says, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Amen. That's what we want to talk, amen, about today from those texts. And the topic is you can worship God anywhere. I need somebody to put that out there on the screen. You can worship God anywhere. Amen. I want to talk about this today because uh, in this story, there is a woman of Samaria. Uh, this woman, a man, was from a region where there were uh, idolatry. Amen. They were uh, uh, people that uh, did not love the Lord. They did not love the God of Abraham the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. And uh, then this area is the place where Jacob's well was dug. Amen. This well was dug. Amen. So that uh, the Israelites, the people of God, can survive. Amen. Because, amen, how many know you need water to survive? Amen. And I want to say to you today, amen, that uh, even snow and ice. It's just another form of water. Amen. God is doing something. I need somebody to look out the window right now and, and see, amen, the accumulation of wintry mix and, and say God is doing something. Amen. And even on this uh, uh, cold Sunday morning, amen, you, you still can be on fire for the Lord. Oh, yes, amen, in this area, amen, the, the Jews and the Samaritans, they, they did not get along because, amen, you did not want to mix religions. 
Yes, because, amen, uh, the Bible even says, don't be uh, 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 unequally yoked with, the, with, with an unbeliever. Don't, don't, don't become yoked with an unbeliever because when you yoke with an unbeliever, when you dwell with an unbeliever, when you share with an unbeliever, amen, that kind of dwindles, that damages your faith. Amen. I need you right now to touch yourself on the shoulder and say, I got to keep my faith strong. Amen. My, my body might be getting weak, but I got to keep my faith strong. Amen. I, I can't walk far as I used to, but I got to keep my faith strong. I can't lift uh, what I used to lift, but I got to keep my faith strong. And that's all I've come to tell you today. Amen. That you can worship God. Amen. Anywhere. Here, amen, in a place called Shechem, amen, there in the plains where the well was dug, amen, we find our Savior, we find our hero, we find God's Son, we find Mary's baby, we find uh, the Rose of Sharon, we find the lily in the valley, we find Jesus here at the well because he was tired. How do you know he was tired? Because in verse 6 said that Jacob's well was there and Jesus was weary from his journey. Huh? And it was about the sixth hour. It was about noon. It was high noon. Can somebody put out there high noon? It was high noon and Jesus was tired. And, and when he got to the well, amen, uh, they saw this woman there, amen, and, and Jesus a man said unto her, give me to drink. Amen. He didn't ask her, her name. He said, give me something to drink. And, and I, I've come today, amen, to remind us all that God is looking for something. Yes, he, 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 he always gives to us. Uh, uh, but my question is, what are you giving him? <laughs> are you still giving God a hard time? Amen. Are you still giving God the cold shoulder? You told God that if, if he brought you out of that situation, that, that, that you would make it. And, and what are you giving God? Uh, and don't you know that how you treat people a uh, lot of time is how you're treating God? Amen. That's why we have to learn how to respect one another. That's why we have to learn how to be obedient. That's why we have to learn how, amen, to follow the rules. Amen. And that's why G, uh, the devil was kicked out. That's why the devil was kicked out of heaven because he didn't want to follow the rules. But we want you to know today, amen, that as Jesus talked to this woman, amen, she looked at him and because he was asking for something. Amen. God wants your attention. God wants your praise. God wants your tithe. God wants your talent. God wants your know-how. God wants your skills to help your family and your church family and help the world be a better place. Yes, I did say the world because God so loved the world. Amen. He loved the world so much he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And look at somebody and tell them you can worship anywhere. Yeah, when you accept him in your life, that's worship. Amen. That's his communication with God. He, he wants to give you something, but he wants you to give him something in return. Oh, I'm saying one of the best deals in the world is when you give God your sins and you pick up salvation. <laughs> huh? That's the best deal anybody can get. Amen. Those sins that could take you to hell. God said, give them to me. Amen. I'll take them. Amen. And, and, and you confess me as your Savior who, who rose the third day. I'll take them and, and I'm going to give you eternal life. Amen. Somebody shout, that's the trade of the century. Oh, yes. Amen. It's a trade. It's a purchase. It's a bought. He, he said we were bought with a price. And Jesus, he is looking at this woman, she said, how is it that, that, that you being a Jew, you talking to me? She said, amen, that most People don't even speak to me because of where I'm from. And I don't know who this is for today, but amen. Don't worry about where you're from. Worry about where you're going. <laughs> huh? Are you going to heaven when your body uh, uh, decides to stop on you? When the Lord tells your body to stop, is your soul, does your soul have a resting place? Amen. I want you to know that if you believe in Jesus, you have a resting place. 
And then he began to talk to her, amen. And then she said, he said unto her, he said, if you only knew who I am. She said, if, 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 he said, if you only knew who I am, you'll stop asking all these questions. If you only knew who I, I am, I, 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 you could ask me for that living water and I'll give it to you. And that's all I'm trying to tell you. We need God's spirit. Huh? Can you feel him moving? Every once in a while you can feel God moving. Some people think it's goosebumps, but there's no goose around. <laughs> uh, some people think it's chills, but it's 85 degrees. Amen. We have to learn how to recognize God. And when we learn how to recognize God, God will recognize you. And in this story, it tells us, amen, that Jesus said, if you drink of this water, you will never thirst again. And the woman said, you don't even have a rope. You don't even have a pail. How are you going to get water out of Jacob's well? Jesus looked at her and told her to go call your husband. She looked at him and said, I have no husband. And Jesus looked at her and said, you have rightly said. You have had five, and the one you with is still not yours. And Jesus said, I'm going to take you in and save you, and uh, I'll save your family. And then the girl began, a man, to ask him one more question. She said, you don't know me, and you haven't read my resume. How do you know what I did and who I did it with? <laughs> and he looked at her and she said, I believe you are a prophet. Not only is God in, by the form of Jesus a prophet, but he is the priest and the king. And the girl said, our fathers worshiped on this mountain. And uh, you say we need to go to Jerusalem to worship. And uh, I don't know what to do. And Jesus looked at him and said, woman, if you believe me. You see, there will come a time when you can't get to a certain place. You can't get to the mountain. You can't get to the sanctuary. You can't get to the fellowship hall. You can't get to the camp meeting. You can't get to the outdoors revival. But he was saying, just like today, <laughs> um, we still need to give God glory. Anywhere you can worship the Lord. I don't know where you are in your house, but you can worship him right there. You can turn that TV off, and you can lift up your hands and worship him right there. You can get in your car and turn off the radio or you can turn on your favorite tune and you can worship him right there. You can go down to Walmart and when you find that cell, you can worship God right there. I don't know about you, but every once in a while I find myself in the yard, in the garage, at home in the kitchen, giving God the glory. And if you feel like I feel, anywhere you think about him, it's all right to praise him. I need you right now, wherever you are, to stand up where you are and tell God thank you. Thank you for the snow. Thank you for the heat. Thank you for my clothes. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my friends. Thank you for my church. You can worship him anywhere. The Bible said he's looking for somebody to worship him in spirit and in truth. Look at your neighbor. If you're in the house with somebody, if you're in the car with somebody, if you're at work with somebody, 
and tell them in spirit and in truth. You got to mean what you say. You got to say what you mean. And when you tell God about it, he'll come and dwell with you. He'll dwell with you. He'll dwell with you. Out there on the cross, you had one that was worried and you had one that was worshiping. The one that was worried, he said, come down and save yourself. But the one that was worshiping, he said, Lord, remember me. And that's what I've come today to tell you, don't forget who God is. Don't forget who brought you. Don't forget who saved you. He died on an old rugged cross. But early, early Sunday morning, he got up with all power in his hand. Yes, 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 he did. Huh? Can you say yes, he did? Can you say I'm going to serve him? Can you say I'm going to worship him everywhere? Everywhere I go. Amen. Sometimes it's verbal. Sometimes it's nonverbal. But every time I feel the spirit <laughs> moving in my heart, <laughs> I'm going to pray and worship. Shout yes. Yeah. Huh? Yes, Lord. <laughs> huh? <laughs> He's good. I'm excited. I'm excited for you, my brother. I'm excited for you, my sister. All you got to do is believe. That's all you got to do is believe. Jesus already paid the price. He's already died for you and me. All you got to do is believe. I pray that this message will bless you on this, on this wintry blast day. But I pray also that it will be a winter's blast day. A winter's blast day. Not only a winter's blast, but a winner's blast. Because you are a winner. You are a winner. You're on the Lord's side. Amen. I, I need you to put that out there. I'm on the Lord's side. Amen. And I can worship him. Amen. Anywhere. Amen. That's spirit and in truth. God bless you. I love you. And we're going to ask your prayers again for all of those who need prayer. And we're going to pray for your salvation. Uh, we're going to pray. Amen. For you. And again, we thank you so much for joining us today. Hopefully this ice and snow, amen, uh, will leave soon. And we can get back to fellowship at 915 Concord Road. Until then, my friend, you keep the faith. Amen. You keep your eyes on the Lord. Amen. Stay warm. Amen. Amen. Eat what you're supposed to eat now. <laughs> Amen. Just because you're in the house and can't get out. Amen. Take care of yourself. Amen. And again, uh, we love you. God bless you. Have a beautiful day on this day that the Lord has made. Father, thank you for allowing us to share with each other. God, thank you for this technology. Father, for many years ago, when it was snow, uh, that, that, that was it. But God, you have seen fit that not in the mountain, God, in not Mount Gerizim, not in Jerusalem, not in Shechem, God, but wherever we think about you, we can worship you. And I thank you that Jesus said that, that you are a spirit. That means you everywhere. You, you're searching our hearts. You, you're searching for people that, that don't mind uh, talking with you. God, this lady had a talk with you. She was inspired. She was received revelation about God is not the building. That is not the street. It, 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 it's not the location. But, but it is the, the, the condition of the heart that controls our worship with you. God, purify our hearts. Only the pure in the heart shall see you. Purify our hearts. Your word have we hid in our hearts. Purify our hearts. Oh God, let this mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. So God, we can be godly. So we can do godly things. Again, bless everyone on the sound of my voice. Bless the Crosby family. Bless the Manning family, the Camp family, the Smith family. God, have mercy on all the bereaved families. And God, we pray right now, God, that you would keep us. Uh, God, in perfect peace, as we keep our minds and hearts stayed on thee. God, we thank you for this worship and pray that you will anoint this message, that you will anoint this, this service, God, to change lives for you. 
Again, we thank you, Master. We thank you. Oh, if we had 10,000 tongues, we couldn't thank you enough. And bless Concord Baptist Church. Bless churches everywhere. In the name of Jesus. And God, if there's some, some churches that's not right, God, have mercy and bless them and save them. Because we all, God, trying to get right. Because one day we got to leave here. God, thank you. Thank you, thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Let everybody say amen. Everybody say amen. Y'all sing with me. Amen. Let everybody say amen. 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 God bless you. I love you. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. We will have Bible study Wednesday, 1130. Have a wonderful.